Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be going through a couple of the newest Microsoft Teams updates. And the first one we're going to look at is direct replying in Microsoft Teams chats. So we're just going to go ahead and click into our Teams desktop app and we're going to go into one of our conversations. So we're going to go into our important meeting team and go on to the chat. As we scroll up, we can see someone has directed a message at us. So we're just going to go ahead and click on more options. And at the top there, we can now see reply. Now, this is a brand new feature before in group chats, it may messages may have got lost and um, so this just makes it super easy to know who exactly you're applying to and talking to you can also add files into your reply as well so as you can see at the top of our message we have the message that we're replying to and then when we send it it's completely direct to the person that we were talking to our next brand new feature is creating breakout rooms prior to your meeting. So previously you could only create the breakout rooms once you were in the meeting, but now Teams have made it so that you can create a breakout room before you start the meeting. So if we go to the top there where it says breakout rooms, we can create room just down there. So you can set them up right before your meeting and you can choose how many rooms you need. Obviously your list is there. So you just click on the one that you want. We're gonna go for two. And then it's as simple as just add in the rooms that you want. And then we're gonna assign our participants. You can either do this automatically or manually. So we're gonna choose automatically and go ahead and click on next. So then it separates the participants into the rooms that we want them in. So now the breakout room is ready, we can then join the meeting and once we've joined the meeting, we'll be able to see that the breakout rooms are already set up with the right participants that we chose earlier. So if we go ahead and click out breakout rooms up the top there, you'll be able to see down on the right hand side of the different rooms and the room and the participants in it. So then if we click on open, that then opens the breakout rooms. Um, while you're in it, you can also edit it at the same time so you can add rooms and you can delete rooms like we're just going to show you now. This is a super handy new update which can save you a bit of time during your meetings. So our third update are poll clouds on Microsoft Teams. Now there are two ways to get onto your polls, either down here at the bottom, or if we go all the way up to the top taskbar and go into more at the bottom there, we can click on polls. So once we do that, we can then decide to make a new poll. Um, so originally we just had the option for multiple choice poll or multiple choice quiz, but now we have a word cloud poll. So we're just going to enter our question up there in the top. We're going to go for how are you feeling today? And we're going to send it off to our team. So to send it off to our team, we're going to go down and press on save. And then we're just going to go ahead and click on launch down the bottom there. So once we've launched it, we can go ahead and click onto it. We can answer it ourselves. So we'll just show you this is how it will look to everyone else as well. So if we answer it like this and then click on submit. So we're just gonna wait for a few more people to respond to our poll and then we'll see that it goes from this here to this here. It gives your team the opportunity to write down the exact word that matches their feelings and participants can like and agree with words that are already in the cloud and the one with the most likes and the most agreed will be in the middle in big letters like you can see in the middle there. This is a great new update from Teams as it allows participants to be more interactive. And you can also do this in meetings as well. Our fourth and final update is the new side-by-side -side and reporter presenter modes in Teams meetings. So if we go ahead and join our meeting, we're gonna go ahead and click on join now. And then as you would normally do, we're gonna go ahead and click on share content at the top, top here and the new presenter modes are presented here. So normally you have the standout and the content only, but now we have side by side and reporter. So we're gonna go ahead and show you side by side first. Once we click on this, we're then gonna click on the window we want to share. And so we're gonna go down to our PowerPoint presentation and for your participants, it will look like this. So you'll have your presentation on one side and then the image of you on the other side. So now for our reporter view, if we go ahead and click and do the exact same method, go onto our windows, choose our presentation, it will then come up like this. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. You have the option to choose between those depending on the nature of your meeting. 
So that is all of our updates for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe now for more tips and tricks. Thank you.